Well, hey, you guys, what's up? And uh, obviously, a bunch of stuff's been happening in the racing world. Of course, I've been a little preoccupied doing some more than just talking videos. We've always, on uh, Dirt Track State of Mind, Long Live the Chaz, we've always done more than just talking. Obviously, the talking stuff gets out there because, uh, you know, there's more than one way to stand up for the little guy than just showing everyone what they actually do. There's a lot of value in uh, saying what the little guy is afraid to say or people are afraid to say, say in truth that needs to be out there. Um, obviously, the video today is about these things behind us, the chassis of the sprint cars. Uh, we saw the Justin Peck wreck. Uh, we also saw the Connor Morell situation. People over there doing work right now. Uh, Inside the Dirt got a lot of stuff coming with the reality series that's going to be happening pretty much all race season long. Um, so be sure to check that out. But regardless, we've seen the Justin Peck situation. We've seen the Connor, Connor Morell situation. Uh, a lot of speculation about the tubing in the Conor Morrell situation. A lot of people speculate in the High Limit series. Are they technically, uh, you know, uh, checking uh, tubing and all that stuff in High Limit? Or is it one of those situations as we need all the cars we can get just come and show up? But through talking and discussion on the Justin Peck situation and a great video on Loose Video. So go check that out on on uh, Facebook, Loose Video. Not sure if he's got it on his YouTube yet, but he had video. A lot of questioning around the uh, situation on if the chassis was cut to get him out or if the chassis actually broke in one of the impacts, one of the several impacts that was very hard uh, at Bridgeport in the 13 car, which obviously... Uh, Bridgeport and the 13 car have a very bad history. Regardless, um, it's a situation to where this is kind of why I uh, talk about what I do. Because through all the looking into's and discussions and the video evidence, the, the chassis snapped. Uh, it, it, it snapped straight off. Some people are saying weld. Some people are saying integrity of the tubing. Uh, RPM chassis, I've went and met Russ, Russ Mitten. Uh, it looks like he takes a lot of pride in his work, and he does a really good job and has produced some uh, very fast chassis and safe chassis. I mean, this is a guy who uh, is based around the Super Sportsman division, which takes a little bit more time to construct, it looks like to me. Um, but at the end of the day, this is a sport where perfect hits can happen perfect impacts can occur and when those perfect impacts and perfect hits occur you can have a scenario where life is on the line uh we saw earlier in the year something that no one has seen before uh, at least in modern racing history and that was a, a driver come out of a car and that wasn't even a perfect hit that wasn't even a, a perfect impact that was just a situation now obviously that is a little bit more preventable I would say, uh, than chassis coming apart. But regardless, this is sprint car racing, guys. This is a this is a situation where you're getting into a car that really don't have much cockpit room at all. I mean, I'm halfway advocating or would enjoy seeing a new sprint car uh, layout, geometry completely redesigned, give the driver some more cockpit room, make it a little bit more uh, safe. Traditionalists don't like that, but when we come down, when it comes down to these uh, cars breaking and stuff like that, it is a little scary to see a car uh, take impacts in any kind of way at not necessarily full race speeds, not necessarily at a fast, a super fast track like Eldor, not a half mile or anything, and come apart. And with somebody like Justin Peck, who is a star of this sport, I think in many people's eyes, we do not want to see Justin Peck uh, be gone at all. Uh, luckily, he was able to get out of the car and everything was fine and dandy. But 100% the questions that are out there being asked right now, if the driver was cut out of the car, if the cage actually came apart, the cage actually came apart in one of the several impacts that occurred. This was a perfect storm. And in racing... Uh, perfect storms can happen and in sprint car racing 
uh, the perfect storm is more likely to happen. It's like living in tor Tornado Valley or something like It's like living in a beach house in Florida. You know that hurricane season is coming. You know that, that eventually uh, this is a sport where the risk is way higher to be in than other places of motorsport. And I think that's also why the sprint car drivers of this world should get more respect, uh, more n national notoriety, uh, more just overall awareness for what they do and how they do it. It's one of the most difficult, most challenging, most competitive sports in the world. I, I think it just is. And uh, so that's, that's kind of where I've always stood. And we're doing that with not only my talks that I put out, but also with my shows kind of exposing or showing more of the little guys. We've got a good thing going here up in the Houston region with the Obanion Racing Team. They're over there building their old motors right now, rebuilding the heads themselves, putting them back together, getting two cars ready to go race. You know, these are, this is, this is the, a merit-based sport. And I like to give it to the guys who work the hardest. At, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, this is America, you know. And America is supposed to reward the ones that work the hardest with the most amount of talent. And this racing world doesn't necessarily reward that, and that's a big problem to me. And all I could do is talk about it and uh, fruits of labor, the situation. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I know there were some questions around that. I don't think everybody should just get mad at RPM. Who knows what's going on? Who knows what uh, actually happened? Who knows if this was a uh, manufacturer default or maybe it was just a perfect storm in one of the most dangerous forms of racing, one of the most dangerous vehicles known to mankind ever. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe. Leave, leave a comment below. Uh, and also, tune into these Inside the Dirt episodes. We're going to be at Jackson tonight, I-90 Saturday, Houston uh, Sunday, Monday for the Memorial Day racing. And, uh, yeah, Memorial Day. That above all, right? Luckily, you know, this country's lost a lot of people to protect the merit and the freedom and the ability and, and the American dream. And that's what this weekend is supposed to celebrate. So, uh, luckily, Justin Peck's okay. Blessings from God. Blessings from everybody. And, hey, it's racing. It's sprint car racing. There's just no way around it. And, and, and those hating on RPM, I mean, RPM, good guy. I, I guarantee you that Russ is, you know, almost in tears over what happened, not just because of the situation. But, it's, you know, anytime you make or build something, you feel attached to it. You know, I'm filming this team right now and doing stuff with them. If one of them got hurt, I would feel differently about it if it was somebody else, you know, that I haven't interacted with. Because once you deal with somebody, you just have a relationship one way or the other. Um, I heard that Anthony Macri was pretty shook up last night because they were the ones that made contact. Uh, and Brett Marks was also uh, kind of a player in that game. Um I, I just think that uh, things happen sometimes. Everybody's jumping on the gas. They're trying to go. You can't give an inch at, rip, at Bridgeport. I heard the car counts were down in the modified track was this. C crowd was down. I don't know if that has to do with the whole Jerry Springer situation that happened over the offseason. Possibly. Especially when it comes to the modified community. But um, it's, a, it's a situation, man. It's a situation. I, th I think that breasts need to be taken in and prayers need to be sent to... Uh, uh, Justin Peck and everybody over there, uh, Tom, uh, Sean, who's, who's crewing it. I mean, everybody's really trying over there, uh, and it, it's unfortunate for them and everybody involved. And I know that I'm the type of guy that says, oh, scream the truth, no matter, no matter if it, it's bad or good or hurts. And I think I've realized over some of the off season that maybe sometimes the truth's a little too harsh because there's truth on both sides of the situation, truth, understanding, and empathy. And I think a lot more people need to utilize those things. So... Anyways, once again, thanks for tuning in. Leave a comment below. What do you think? What's going on? Be sure to check out the Inside the Dirt episodes. And be also, subscribe to the channel. Got a lot of nice things coming your way. And also, bumper stickers. Apparently, uh, very, very um, noticed in the Knoxville area. We had a uh, Knoxville moth actually get mad at one of the vehicles that had a Lone Live the sticker on it because he was going too fast on the highway. For your safety, I suggest to get your own sticker and go fast on the highway. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in, and we will catch you next time.